welcome to another episode of EMA Cloud Rants. Jens, today we are talking about the acquisition of SimpliVity by HPE. HPE paid $650 million. What did they pay this money for? Well, probably not or definitely not to become a hyper-converged vendor because this they already like were into. So it's like they needed an enabler for them to be more roundish in the offering, to have like a hardware independent data virtualization platform. And this is where SimpliVity was heavily innovating on, mm. but maybe lacked the sales, sales strength to push it out to the market in an efficient, effective way on their own behalf. How many, how many customers did they have, Thorsten? That's 1,300 customers worldwide in a pretty big organization, something in the area of 700 people altogether in SimpliVity. So it's not as small as you may think, right? It's not a little startup. They've been there since 2009. They've drawn 276 million. So there was certainly some sense of urgency of getting rid of that sales bottleneck, Jens. You are, you're right. And HPE has one view for converged infrastructure management, right? So now they acquired OmniStack for data virtualization. So if you, if you look at this, they had one layer for simplification. Now they have another layer for simplification. And they talk about simplification day in, day out at HPE. So I, I like that part of the story, right? Yeah, for me, it also makes sense. And I think HP is now really becoming a very, very strong vendor in the market, hyper-converged, web scale, and so on. Some other people won't like this for sure. Mm. And I think they also had to do so because otherwise, if they didn't, sooner or later, they would face troubles. Yeah, yeah. And we have uh, OpenStack. We've seen what happens, right? If you are not simple, if you cannot... Uh, limit open stack just doing scale uh, 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 opex uh, just doing scale out is is not is not sufficient it has to be simple uh, automated scale out so that the vmware administrator or the whoever uh, delivers the infrastructure for the developers uh, has an easy time uh, doing this very very quickly right otherwise the developers go to aws and if they are at aws they will not come back they're gone to hpe hpe doesn't deliver anything to amazon right and that's the situation they need to avoid at any cost. Yeah, yeah. A workload that goes out of the data center is basically uh, done for HPE. And mm. um, yeah, uh, there's another interesting aspect to it, and that is uh, the built-in uh, data protection and a backup, restore, uh, uh, cloning, very, all very quickly, very well optimized. Yeah, basically they result from the underlying architecture that SimpliVity has built mm. all the innovation on. The data virtualization layer that like deals with mapping where the data is up to deduplication and so on. Mm. And this like clever mapping, this yeah. clever virtualization of the data, this enables like other use cases where you normally need specialized tools for backup being maybe the easiest. There are good vendors out there, but the disaster recovery thing is kind of a pain point. And mm. with SimpliVity's like underlying layer, that gets so much easier, I think. Yeah, uh, especially moving uh, VMs, right? Uh, SimpliVity presents this layer that it stores the VMs in to the hypervisor, and then you can just move those VMs as an administrator. You can set policies saying a certain type of backup has to go to a certain location or into a certain public cloud, right? So uh, you can think about what you have to do to make sure you're compliant in your organization, versus you have to talk to the hardware guys, you have to call the other data center guys, you have to figure out how you move stuff, how you remotion stuff, how you... Uh, it, there's a lot of complexity to it that this hides, Jens, right? And you guys are a big uh, VMware consulting house, so uh, you, you see those pains every day that you have if, if you have a disconnect between the hypervisor layer and the underlying infrastructure management layer, right? Yeah, well, basically, VMware has been talking about policy-based management since a couple of years already. They are promoting mm. this heavily, but not so many customers have arrived at this stage. And there is still some sort of disconnect from the VMware people to the storage, to the networking people and so on. So there is yeah. like information is lost in between, efficiency is lost. And, and time, time yeah. lost, right? 
Definitely. The time lost is the time where the developers go to AWS and to Azure and say, Ooh, I, I won't wait that long anymore. I'm done here. I'm, you know, I'm going where I can have what I want at any time. So, uh, Jens, uh, thank you. This was uh, another episode of EMA Cloud Rants on the acquisition of HPE by Simplicity. The other way around. The other way around. Thank you, Jens. Yes.